Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's JP back with another video for you guys. And today it's uh, one of those things that I really enjoy. I got a whole bunch of games for you guys and uh, for a whole bunch of different consoles. I haven't played every single one of them or beaten every single one of them, but I think it's stuff that a lot of people enjoy and it's to also sort of announce that there's a new one coming out shortly for the next generation of consoles. So here we're going to take a look at some of uh, the the video games that I have that are for James Bond 007 franchise. All right, so we're going to go through some of these games here. Uh, this is Eon, Everything or Nothing, for the Xbox first generation. And uh, I think I've played a little bit of it, but I haven't beaten it. And of course, different branding stickers and logos and stuff like that from different stores and prices that I've paid. Some are accurate, some are not. But uh, as far as I know, that's a pretty good game. Moving on from there, we've got Nightfire. Which I've played a little bit of, but I don't think I've beaten this one. I don't think I've beaten too many of them. So, And here's the back of this one. Looks like it sort of stars Pierce Brosnan kind of look alike throughout the game. Some are meant to look like the actor, some have the voice of them, some don't. Moving on from there, we've got another Nightfire, but this is actually for PC. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of, uh, looks like the uh, DVDs on the back advertised, which is kind of neat. I'm going to stack some of these out of the way as I kind of go through them all. From here, this is a great game, I, I thought. It's not my favorite James Bond, but it's Daniel Craig for the movie and the game Quantum of Solace for the Nintendo Wii. <clears throat> I haven't played it, actually, for the Nintendo Wii. I do have one. But I have beaten this game, and I actually liked it very, very much. Uh, anybody that... Uh, I so far from that I've heard that has played this game, really enjoys it. And that's Quantum of Solace for the Wii. Moving on from there, I've got a Platinum Hits version of Nightfire, still for the original Xbox. The only difference between this and the other is just certain categories, Platinum Hits, so I guess it must have did sort of well. Moving on from there, the Xbox 360 Quantum of Solace version, which this is, I believe, the version that I did beat <clears throat> on uh, playing it on 360. Once again, like I said, probably one of my favorite ones to play. It's very enjoyable. Moving on from that game, this isn't even all of my entire collection either. I have a lot more than just what I'm showing here. So this is a collector's edition basically uh, a tin case version I forget what they actually call these there's a name for it but it's a pretty cool uh, edition of the game like I said I, I beat this game on the Xbox 360. <clears throat> A little dusty there, to be honest. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do stuff with uh, just one hand. I think they call those Steelback, Steelbook. Moving on from there, I've got GoldenEye Rogue Agent. And I also have this for the GameCube. This is regular Xbox. And this is PS2. I have one for the GameCube that's actually unopened. And I've played a little bit of this game. I don't think I've beaten it, though. It's hard to recall when you got so many of them and you play so many of them. How far and where you've kind of gone. Kind of unique that there's different back pictures. Similar, but different. So that is once again Rogue Agent Goldeneye for Xbox and for PS2. 
And I didn't grab my GameCube one because it's unopened and I just leave it <clears throat> part of my collection. Moving on from there, I've got that game that I beat, Quantum of Solace, for Windows. Once again, amazing game. And we got over here, 007 Legends for Xbox 360. I thoroughly um, like the concept of this game. And it kind of goes over all the James Bond movies. Well, not all, but a good portion of them. Different actors. But I think they kind of messed up because they updated it so that it's in current times. And you're pretty much Daniel Craig for everything. Which I'm not a big fan of. You know, when I uh, played this, and they're showing Goldfinger here at the beginning, and all of a sudden you're pulling out a, a cell phone, didn't really make uh, much sense to me, but once again, pretty good game. I haven't beaten it, but I have played a, a portion of it. Moving on, Xbox 360, Bloodstone. Looks like Daniel Craig on the front. I think I've tried a bit of this game. Not much. But I would like to play a little bit more of it. Bloodstone for Xbox 360. Uh, moving on. There's another Quantum of Solace for PS2. A lot of people don't realize that game actually is out on a lot of different console generations. PS2, Xbox, Xbox 360... Probably PS3 as well, PC, and Wii. Moving on, I've got a Platinum Hits Xbox. Just regular Xbox, Agent Under Fire. Which I know I have this for another console as well. Actually a couple, yeah. And once again, you can see a little downgrade on the graphics. It's a little bit older, but I've played a bit of this game. Haven't beaten it, but I thoroughly enjoyed so far what I've played, and it's pretty fun. I'd recommend checking that one out for sure. Here's a classic. Everybody's, I think everybody's quite familiar with this one. This one is GoldenEye for the Nintendo 64, which kind of started off the whole Bond craze fandom, even for the games, the movies, and collectibles and stuff like that. I, I have beaten this game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And it's a lot of fun. My case has seen better days, but the cartridge is still fine, and I have all the paperwork for it and everything. So I know it's not the original one, because it's the Game of the Year version, but still pretty cool to have. Um, you can still find lots of the cartridges around, but these cases are coming a lot harder to come by. Cost a little... Uh, Pretty penny for that one. But yeah, that's GoldenEye for Nintendo 64. Moving on. This one's one of my absolute favorites. Probably my favorite. It's the From Russia With Love. And it's actually got the likeness of Sean Connery, as you can see in the picture. And he actually used his voice for the game audio. And I have beaten this game. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and I have it on multiple different consoles, so I definitely 100% recommend this game, because uh, it's a blast. Tell me what your favorite James Bond game is for whatever console. Here's another version of Nightfire for the PlayStation 2, which, by the way, I have all these consoles, or multiple different ones of these consoles, so I can still continue to play these games whenever I'd like to. Moving on from there, here's an old classic one. James Bond The Duel for Sega Genesis. I think this is the first Bond game that I ever played back whenever this came out, probably the early 90s. And uh, once again, you can see the graphics get degraded as this game's probably almost close to 30 years old now. And it's got the likeness of uh, the actor Timothy Dalton from two films. Back in the 80s. The Duel. Fun game. Pretty cool. I believe... Uh, I don't think I've beaten this one, but I've gotten pretty far. And I still have a saga to play it, so... It's one you don't see talked about or around too much. 
We got, got another Agent Under Fire. This one's for the GameCube, so we've gone over this game already so far. Here we go, Xbox 360. GoldenEye Reloaded. And I have played this game. And it's pretty cool. I haven't beaten it, but I have beaten GoldenEye for N64, so it's just kind of a revamped version. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. I definitely recommend this game. It's enjoyable. It kind of looks like it's Daniel Craig there on the cover, but I don't think they actually used the likeness of any uh, Bond. Maybe it is him, I forget. But uh, I recommend that game. And I've got the From Russia With Love for Xbox. For some reason, i got two copies. So I think I'm going to give one away to my cousin. I want him to play this game because uh, we're both Sean Connery and James Bond fans. and Yeah, so that's a good, fun game. I think that's the version that I played the, to beat it. And i got another Nightfire here for PlayStation 2. This one's the Greatest Hits version, though. Whatever that means. I guess it just it sold well. Moving on from there. Got another Agent Under Fire. PlayStation 2, and once again, the Greatest Hits version. Pretty cool game. Pretty much almost all doubles here from now on. Oh, here's one. A lot of people aren't aware of this game, but it's The World Is Not Enough for the Nintendo 64. And the case is in better condition than uh, the GoldenEye one. It's complete in box. Cartridge works fine. It does help if you have the expansion pack. I think it might be required. Well, this is designed for so it's not required, but it helps out with the graphics. And you do need a memory card in order to save make any save progress which those memory cards for your controller do need a battery updated because it's been a good 25 years since the Nintendo 64 and another from Russia with love for the GameCube once again that one's probably my favorite game so yeah just thought I'd share uh, some of my James Bond collector uh, collection video games um, lots of good ones some not as good I have other ones for PC or even for Game Boy different variations of Game Boy and stuff like that and uh, the collection still grows and they've got a new game coming out uh, I don't know maybe next year hopefully next year so uh, thanks for uh, tuning in YouTube make sure you subscribe to my channel like the video and leave your comments down below. What, what's your favorite game? What's your favorite part out of any of the games? Which one have you beaten or uh, would like to maybe try? Anyways, thanks for tuning in. JPA.